so I'm going to be doing some red deck wins on ladder today. Uh, pretty standard kind of build. Um, I don't have any castle empress. I'm uh, still working on building my collection with that. As you can see, no rares. Feels bad. <laughs> and I'm still missing one uh, for Robert the Riches. But the deck we are going to be playing on ladder today and have been playing is pretty straightforward. You have Fervent Champions, Scorch Spitters, a couple of Shocks, Rimrock Knights, Robber and the Rich, Runaway Steamkins, Annex Harden in the Forge, Bone Crusher, Light of the Stage, one Phoenix of the Ash to sub in for the Robber of the Rich, three Torbrand, four Embercleave, and 21 Mountains. Uh, pretty straightforward of a deck. So we are going to pop in for a couple games. So let us hit up the play here with red deck wins. Going in at uh, Platinum 3 right now. We started at Silver 1 today, so it's been pretty spicy. So let us see what we get going here, guys. Let us see what we get rolling. Do do do. Alright, ooh, Fervent, Robber, Annex, Phoenix. We're gonna keep. We have a turn one, turn two play. That's really nice. Red deck wins on Tin Street Darter. That's fine. My Fervent Champion's better. Probably next turn we would go Robber and the Rich. That's fine. So when that dies, it'll make a 1-1, one, one. but we're just going to rob her here. Going to get him. He's probably going to block the robber. Okay, I don't really know why he's blocking the champion. Oh, because it has first strike too. Even I misplay. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, he's tapping out. Uh, we can probably kill the 10th Street. What did he get? Score spitter? Sure. Um, I do want to shock something. That thing's annoying, so we'll shock that. Get rid of the spitter. Okay, resolve. Can I go to combat, please, friend? Hello, friend. Friend Okun. Thank you. I didn't think it was that hard to let me go to combat, but apparently I stand incorrect. So now we light up the stage, and we get a land off of here. Or we don't. Oh, it feels bad. Maybe we don't use this one for you, too. <laughs> uh, okay. Yay, a land! Where were you like ten times ago? Um, do do do. We're gonna just start fresh. Do 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 do. <laughs> we're starting fresh. Uh, let's ignore that game. Okay, new collapse where I know where to start. All right, so we'll try red deck wins here. Got some fun stuff on the deck. I still would like to get a second robber bridge in it, or a uh, fourth, I should say. Then I'd really feel like it's done, aside from like the castle empress. Uh, double robber. I don't want to risk trying to get into a two drop. I mean, as great as the hand kind of is in terms of potential. No second land kind of hurts, so. Okay, I can live with this. Um, I'll probably mulligan the shock. We'll go Robber of the Rich into Robber of the Rich. So Red Deck wins too. Cool, that's fine though. So he's got more cards in hand. The nice potential with here too is when I drop this out next turn, I will have a mana floating. We'll have two Robber of the Rich triggers, which can be really big. Um, if we manage to get the damage in, I should say. Fervent Champion. That's fine. All three? For sure. So I'll take four. Uh, the potential for me to hit harder here is better. Okay. 
So shock's good. So I can actually shock and take care of what's well, gonna be more trouble. I think Scorch Pitter is gonna be the more annoying. Uh, let's just continue a one damage ping. We have another mana, so we can do our attack first and then maybe drop in. Uh, we could actually do an Ember Cleave. Whatever power, that's fine. All right, so I lose my robber. So I'll take two, still fine. We're not at a bad turning point just yet, so. We're gonna go to combat first. Um, hmm. I'll probably do the buff. I don't get the draw, unfortunately, but I can get in for extra damage. To get him to 10. And we can play out Annex here. Uh, so Annex will let me get the tokens rolling if something on my side should die. But it gives me a blocker at least against the Fervent Champion. Tin Street's fine. Uh, he can't Ember Cleave if it's in deck. Only has two men open. That's fine, I'll take one. Scorch Bitter, also fine. Dodger's fine. Okay, so uh, one card in hand is fine. I can get in for a lot on the Ember Cleave here, and it does give the potential for lethal. So we're going to roll with that. He probably blocks with one thing. All right, he just gave us game. Easy. Like when they don't dodge on the potential Ember Cleave turn that you have, Ember Cleave just swings in for huge. It is such a great artifact. So we had a small slow start. Our Robber in the Riches got us a nice shot clear, and we kind of move forward. So we got one. So let's keep up another one. Let's keep going. Okay. Rimrock Knight, Annex, and two Light of the Stages. Um, ideally not what we're looking for. So I'm going to mull. Champion into Steamkin with potential draw is really good. Obviously, Ember Cleave is amazing. I'm going to send back one Light of the Stage. As much as I do love the draw, keeping the Ember Cleave I think is going to be better for us. Very miscreant? What do you do? When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Okay. That's fine. We'll play out a Fervent Champion and we'll go on for one. Probably we'll do Robber and the Rich next turn. Uh, 2 2, sure. Uh, also fine. We could just kill it, actually. I think we are going to do that. I'm going to Bone Crusher in this turn to avoid the potential of any other enchant or uh, sorceries in response when he's open. Because he is playing blue. Or, um, so Essence Scatters negates. Those are all possibilities. Did it have lifelink? Okay. Alright, so we didn't draw another mana. That's fine. Um, I am going to play just out the Steamkin here, though. See if he demands a response. Nope. Okay, so we just go in for one. Ah, uh, Flash, you're flying. Sure. I'm okay with that. Raise and borrow to bounce. That's fine. Still no mana. Um, I might as well play out the robber and the rich here. Okay. I kind of need a third mana to get going, though. If 
I can get a third mana, we can do some more s better stuff. I, I like it opens up the possibility for uh, Steamkin Scorch Spitter to get a two-two, gets us closer to our Thorbrand. Uh, Even the Grand Advisor. Create a one-one flying, eh? Okay. Huh. It's a little annoying. Um. I think I'm just gonna go for the attack first. We'll have Robert. What does Dolan do? Creatures you control deal damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, that kind of needs to go. One one blocks the two two potentially. Yeah. Poking for one, kill the two two. Let's just light up the stage. What you got from there? We. Go. That's what we're looking for. Now we can play out our runaway Steamkin. We can build up Steamkin next turn, or I could even just drop out Thorbrand. Thorbrand's probably the right play. Skycat Sovereign. Uh, that's still fine. Alright, let's go land. We'll drop out one of our Thorbrands. Everything is going to do bonus here. I mean, he could make another one if he really wants to. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to ship it all face. This is first strike. This will be dealing four. This will be dealing four. That's three. We're hitting for 11. I don't know that he can actually afford to take like 11. That's It's a lot of damage to go face, right? That's fine. So we have an Ember Cleave trigger we could do next turn, which is kind of cool, because that's a lot of more, that's two additional damage on each hit of the Ember Cleave. So we're probably going to flash in the Ember Cleave. Might be like Score Splitter Ember Cleave, maybe Ember Cleave on the Fervent Champion, maybe on the Robber, or on Torbrand. I'm going to see what he blocks. Honestly, my decision on what I do it to will be on what he blocks. We'll do combat damage, put a loyalty count. That's fine. Sure, I'll take the two. That's fine. What is his ultimate anyways? Minus seven. Look at the top ten cards. Put three of them in your hand. It's kind of okay, I guess. Uh, so let's set up Scorch Splitter. Needs to ask Scorch Splitter. Uh, we'll attack for... It's all gonna go face. See what happens. Maybe he flashes in something. Otherwise, Brazen Borrower. Hey, uh, okay. So before then, we're gonna hit up the Ember Cleave on our Robber of the Rich. So we push him to three, and we end our turn. Another Thopter is fine. Like the fact of Embercleave being there potentially just pushes the problem. He needs they need a way to deal with the Embercleave. Either remove the creature or remove the Embercleave. Ideally, Embercleave needs to go. So I four man into draw? Okay. I don't think Nice, we got him. Cool, look at that. Alright. Riddick wins. It uh, it does some really cool stuff. Thanks for checking out, guys. Make sure if you want to see more MTG Arena plays, um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm on Twitch and Twitter, and we'll see you around.